Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today's video is going to be my February month favorites or the products which I have been loving in the month of February. So without any much further ado, let's quickly get started with today's video. I'm sorry, I was a little bit out of action last week. I think I uploaded just two videos. I usually try to upload at least three. But last week I was a little bit busy with my birthday with my husband's birthday so i did not really film any videos so so sorry about that if you are expecting a video but i was pretty uh, active on instagram so if you're still not following me on instagram and you would like to see me doing other things uh, than youtube then do go and uh, follow me there my instagram handle and all my other social media handles are down in the description box all the time okay so let's get started with today's video i have a few makeup products few lipsticks uh, I have some skincare as well. I don't have uh, too many here because I have been trying out a few products and I haven't yet made up my mind about them. So I will probably update you in other videos and in my favorites I include only those products which I have absolutely made up my mind that these are my favorites. So I think let's start off with makeup. I have three palettes to share with you and I have been absolutely loving, loving, loving these palettes. So the first one is the one which I have on my eyes right now and this is the Dose of Colors uh, Friendcation palette. It's a Daisy and Katie collaboration. I was initially not interested to get this palette but recently on YouTube I have seen a lot of good reviews on this palette. So I decided to get it because it was on 30% off. So I haven't paid full price for it. I got it for quite less actually. It was 30 or 35% off during the holidays. And I was really really excited to get this because the color scheme is really really wearable. Uh, there are a lot of neutral tones, warm tones and there are a few pop of colors. And these colors are like amazing glittery duochrome very very beautiful interesting metallic shades so when i had seen the swatches i was quite interested in these metallic shades you guys know how much i love shimmers so i thought let me give this palette a try because i heard a couple of people i trust that they absolutely love this palette and i really really love this palette too i will highly highly recommend this palette if you are into neutral looks and may use a couple of colors here and there i think it's a great palette all the basic matches you would need for everyday looks they are right here so it's very very convenient even if you don't want to use any of these shadows right here you can do neutral looks and the shadows are really nicely pigmented so they show up really well on my skin tone as well especially this deeper brown uh, i did not think it will show up that well on my skin tone but these are really nicely pigmented my favorite color of the palette is this one which is like a olive green gold shade which i wear a lot if you follow me on instagram then you will see uh like last five or six looks or five or times i've gone out i have used this shadow i love this color so much today also i have worn this same color and i think it just looks so so beautiful on the eyes and i love i don't love too much gold but i love these kind of olive green gold muted golds i love these on my eyes so that's what i have on my eyes today love the packaging i love the fact that i got it on a sale i probably wouldn't pay full price for it i don't know probably i wouldn't but i'm just super happy the price point at which i got this palette really really worth it if you're looking into this palette and you get some sort of a deal then i will highly highly recommend it the shadows they just blend beautifully the mattes are so so beautiful they just blend effortlessly and the glitters are so smooth and they are really punchy in a very unique sort of a way and the mattes with the mattes there are uh, no fallout if you can do your makeup uh, like you can do your foundation and then you can do your eye makeup you will not um, face ton of fallout i really really like that about this palette you don't have to be very careful with this palette and dose of colors is also quality free paraben free and gluten free so that's great the next palette of course is this palette which i have to have to mention in my favorites video i haven't done a blog post on this yet i will do one soon but i do have a blog post on this one comparing it to the huda beauty amethyst obsession palette both the palettes are quite similar but they are not like exactly the same so there are a little bit of differences so i will mention the blog post in the description box 
so that you can check out uh, the differences uh, between those two palettes but today i just want to mention this one this is such a well-made palette from colourpop it's like a true purple lover's dream it has purples it has pinks and the pinks also have like a purpley undertone and the duochromes and the shimmers which are in this palette they are amazing if you're someone like me who loves shimmers duochromes you should get this palette it is so so beautiful the mattes do have a little bit of fallout so just be wary of that most colourpop mattes do have some kind of fallout but the shimmers they are just absolutely beautiful the mattes blend well so they're very easy to work with uh, and there are uh, two shimmers i think this one which is mr sandman it's a single shadow as well which i also have earth shine also i believe is a single shadow if i'm not wrong and sleeper is a matte shade which is also one of their single shadows so they have put in a couple of the single shadows in this palette uh, both of those which I have in individuals as well. Absolutely love it. I will not talk too much about it. I love purples. I love the looks which I get this with this palette. If you are looking into a purple eyeshadow palette, this is a really good one. You wouldn't have to spend too much money on it. So I will totally, totally recommend it. Such a well-made palette. The next palette which I have also been really, really liking this month of February. I have been playing around with this one because I want to do a blog post on this. So I have been doing some, some looks and some things here and there. This is the Makeup Revolution So Fix Extra Spice Palette. Now for this palette also I have a review on my channel where I had compared this with the So Fix Palette. The So Fix Palette, the original one, also I do really really like. But in that video I said that I will prefer the So Fix Palette a bit more than this palette. This is also a really nice palette. I have been really enjoying working with this this month, uh, past month of February. The colors are so nicely pigmented, they blend so nicely and I have created a few looks especially with this orange, yellow, red, these green and purple shades. I've created some looks and I really really love them. Uh, so I have been having a lot of fun with this palette. So this is also a really really pretty palette and I will totally recommend it. These colors here, the oranges, the peaches, the pinks, the reds and the burgundy sort of shades, they blend so so beautifully together and they look really really pretty on the eyes. So I've been really really loving this palette as well. I will be doing a blog post on this really soon if you want to see swatches and everything, more details. So that's coming. Uh, so those are the three palettes which I have been loving in the past month of February. Next I have two blushes and then lipsticks and then we'll move on to skincare. The first blush which I want to mention is this one and I'm kind of surprised that I'm mentioning this one because when I first got it I was a tad bit disappointed. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Vivid Flush. This is one of their limited edition releases for Lunar New Year. And I was so so excited when I had seen the first promo pictures of this uh, blush and I just just bought it the instant it landed on Sephora here and when I got it I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting this blush to be very corally reddish vibrant because that's how the promo pictures look to me but it's not that vibrant corally reddish blush it's more of a pinky pinky corally plummy sort of a blush so i was a bit disappointed because of that but but this works really really well on my skin tone and it just looks really really beautiful so i think just because this blush is so so pretty, I will put it in my favorites. I have worn this blush so much this past month. This one and the other product which I'm going to show you, I will show you that. Those are the two things I have worn the most and I love wearing these two products. Especially this blush also. This blush gives a really subtle, pinky, plummy sort of a uh, flush to the cheeks and it has a subtle sheen to it which I absolutely love with these blushes I don't wear highlighters so they are really easy like when I don't have a lot of time to get ready I just pop this on my cheeks just a little bit of bronzer lipstick that's all that's all I do and it just looks beautiful no highlight needed gives a really nice flush to the cheeks so although I did not really expect this blush to be like this but I do really like it. It's a really really good product. And the next product is also like a blush palette, face palette sort of a product. Is this one from Becca. And this is the BFF collection and in collaboration with 
Chloe and Malika. This one is the version by Malika who is of deeper skin tone and this has a uh, deeper products which will be suitable suitable for deeper skin tone so we have a bronzer two blushes and one highlighter all of these beautiful products go well on my skin tone even the bronzer works great the bronzer also has a subtle like a satiny finish to it so which i like i don't have a lot of uh satiny or uh, shimmery bronzers i prefer matte bronzers i love these two blushes there are more uh, more like glowy blushes so if you are someone who loves those kind of blushes you might like them nowadays somehow i am very much into glowy blushes i have not been using highlighters a lot so that's why highlighters are not there in this video i have been just using this hourglass blush or these uh, two products and the highlighter is also really really nice today i'm not wearing this highlighter to be honest i haven't really worn this highlighter that many times but it's really really pretty so today i'm wearing uh, this one right here which gives like a slight corally hint to the cheeks and also gives that glowy shine but this glow doesn't really look that much uh, you may feel like okay that's too much glow on the face it it's not too much glow in natural light it looks very very nice and subtle and there is no like chunky shimmer or glitter i hate those kind of products the products are really really smooth they give a nice glow on the face without being overly shimmery or glittery which i absolutely love so i have been really loving this palette as well unfortunately both of these products are limited edition but these are this one is not available now in Singapore. I don't think so. Uh, this one is still available in Sephora here. So if you're interested, you can just go ahead and check out that palette. Next, I want to talk about this mascara. Okay, I think I finally love this mascara. I have been loving it for, I would say, one and a half month or so. But I was in denial. I was not ready to like it. This is the Essence Eye Heart Extreme Volume Mascara. And I have been using this product for quite a long, long time I have been using this in tutorials but I have not mentioned it in any kind of favorites video because I really love the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence that's like one of my favorite favorite mascara and that one is not available at the drugstore here anymore I don't know why I'll have to go to a local reseller and get that mascara so I got this one instead and I have been using it for almost two, two and a half months now and finally, I will agree that I really, really like this one as well. This is not as lengthening at first go as the Lash Princess one. With Lash Princess, you just do one coat and you will see a difference in the length of your lashes. This one is not like that. This one, you'll have to build up and build up and build up. It's uh, quite of a, a wet formula, not too wet although not very wet as the lash princess but this is also pretty wet formula i have got the non-waterproof one so this one comes off very easily as well but this is this one you will have to build up so i have to go like four or five coats it builds up really well and then it will give you that volume and that curl so today i'm wearing this mascara i don't know if you'll be able to tell i love the like effect which this one gives it doesn't clump up at all which i really really appreciate and it gives a nice amount of curl and volume and yeah i think i like this mascara yeah i do like it i do like this mascara as well next i want to mention this foundation really quickly this has been a favorite this past month of february it's not a new foundation i use it a lot but this month i have been using this too too much so i thought let me just give this poor thing a little shout out again this one is the benefit hello happy foundation i love this foundation so much it's uh, like a very lightweight liquidy runny demi matte sort of a finish foundation it will give you a skin like finish today i'm wearing it it's very very everyday friendly foundation if you are into those kind of foundations you can try out this one i use the shade 8 and it matches me really really well so i love the shade match as well it just blends and just blends into the skin so i love it uh i don't know how much i have left because it's a smaller bottle you do get one uh like one fluid ounce in here but i think i don't have a lot left maybe this will be the first foundation i will ever finish off but yeah really loving that benefit foundation just a little quick shout out to that one also by the way i do have a review on this foundation so i will link that in the description box 
Okay. okay, so those are the makeup products I wanted to mention. Let me quickly mention the skincare products as well before we move on to the lipsticks. First of all, I want to give a big shout out to these two uh, masks from Laneige. They are the sleeping masks from Laneige and I have recently spoken about them in my skincare favorites 2018. If you haven't watched that video, I will link that in the description box if you are interested in more skincare products. So these are the two sleeping masks I am using religiously. I use them almost every single day sometimes i may switch it up with something else but most of the time i use these and these are amazing sleeping masks when i wake up in the morning my skin just feels so so different very hydrated nourished and it just looks fresh when i wash it off my skin feels super smooth and fresh and nourished i just love the feeling of these sleeping masks i will highly highly recommend them like when I use them, I can see a difference in my skin. I, when I look in the mirror, I can feel like, okay, something is different. That's the feeling I get with these sleeping masks. Uh, sleeping masks. So I think the uh, hype is quite real. These are pretty popular and I can see why they are popular. I have dry skin and they have worked out amazingly well for me. I have one more which I haven't started using yet. So I will get back to you on that one. But these two I have been really, really loving. So I just want to mention them. I have also been really loving this one. The Clinique Take the Day of Cleansing Balm. I have been using these small little tubs uh, since 6 months or so. But I haven't finished them. I have used quite a bit. I have some more left as well. Because I keep switching my makeup removing products. So I haven't finished them off. But they are amazing. The cleansing oil also I love. The cleansing balm also I love. I think the balm I love a little bit more. I feel this one takes off the makeup a little bit more easier. A little bit more quicker. Especially if I have heavy eye makeup, waterproof mascara, glitters or something like that. This one will take it off much easier and quicker. So I love this one. Uh, if you are into gentle cleansing products makeup removing products i will highly encourage you to check out cleansing oils and cleansing balms okay the next two products i was debating whether to bring them in my favorites or not i was doing the same thing last month as well because i have started liking these products since quite a long time but these are kind of expensive products and especially in the indian market i think these are quite expensive so i had to think over again and again whether i want to include them in my favorites or not but this month I thought let's just include it because I do really like these two products and I potentially might repurchase them because they have worked out great for me. So that's why they're here. These are from Forest Essentials and Forest Essentials is quite expensive I know and there are a few products which have worked for me which and there are some which have not worked for me. But these two have really worked out very very well for me. This is a Rasa and Tejal uh, serum and balancing water. This is the serum, this is the balancing water. And I, I bought this when? I think last year. And I started using both of them November and December or something like that. So it has been around 3 months or so I have been using them. I have been uh, using the serum more than the water. But I have used the water as well quite a lot. I have to try to use them together, use them separately and see how uh, the effect is. Because I was advised by the forest essentials person that you are supposed to use them together. So I was kind of testing it out. But yeah, I feel like they work the best together. I don't know what it is about them, the combination, how it is. I'm honestly not that well versed with skincare ingredients, so I wouldn't be able to tell. But I feel like they work really, really well together. Whenever I apply them together, they it does make a difference. So the uh, Rasa Activating Serum, I will read out from the Forest Essentials website because I want to give you correct information. I don't want to give you wrong information and nothing much is written on this bottle. So the ingredients in the serum is a charge with brightening muleti, cell turnover boosting priungui seed, hydrating neel kamal seed and glycolic acid rich sweet potato extract. So this one has glycolic acid. I think that's what makes my skin look a little bit brighter and clearer. And Rasa Activating Serum leaves the skin exceptionally buoyant, smooth and radiant. I think I quite agree with the radiance and the brightening effect which this one gives and I have really really seen a difference in my skin. 
so i think these have worked for me enough that i can recommend you to try them if you're interested because this is i think relatively newer to first essentials and from what i have understood uh, they are doing quite well uh, these two products i have dry skin and for me they have worked out great uh, by the way i forgot to mention about the water so the balancing water is supposed to be uh, rich in hyaluronic acid and go to cola i don't know what that does but it's supposed to be a natural humectant so it helps to retain moisture in the skin so i think the glycolic acid factor of this one glycolic acid works really well for me and uh, the hyaluronic acid factor of this one these two products together they are really really working for my skin the brightening and the hydration i think i really really love these two products and i i i feel okay to recommend these to you guys if you are someone who is looking into luxury skincare you want to try some natural skincare you can try out these two i think i feel confident enough to recommend these two i have really enjoyed it enjoyed and i have seen results okay let's move on to lipsticks i have three lipstick favorites which i want to mention uh, one is a drugstore one is like medium range and one is like extra extra high end luxury let's start off with the drugstore one this is a such a beautiful shade of colourpop ultra satin lips i have been wearing this so so much this is the shade lost and i recently did a colourpop ultra satin lip swatches so i will link that in the description box if you want to see more lipsticks but i think this one is one of my favorites from that uh, video and this is one of the latest ones i have got this is how the shade is it's like a orangey reddish sort of a color muted red and this one looks so so beautiful on the lips I wear this a lot like when I'm not wearing uh, too much makeup or I'm not wearing much of an eye look. I love wearing this one. It just brightens up the entire uh, face. So The I next know. one which I have been really really loving is this one from Huda Beauty. This is the Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Shika. Uh, did I do a, yes, I did a swatch of the Huda Beauty lipsticks as well, the Demi Matte ones. I have four shades. And I just did like a quick swatch video. So if you're interested, you can see that. So this is how this one is. It's such a pretty nudie pink sort of a glossy lipstick. Uh, this is the shade uh, Shika and Shekha rather. Shekha, Shekha. So this is the shade which I have been eyeing for a really long time. It's a very, very pretty pink. And for bold eye looks or like everyday use, it's a very, very beautiful shade. It looks good on my skin tone as well i love the formula of these lipsticks they're super comfortable very glossy but ultra ultra pigmented uh, richly pigmented and even though they are glosses the staying power is really really good and if you just blot your lips a little bit then you can get a more semi matte sort of a finish so i like that these are quite versatile i i think i have a full review of this on my blog so i'll just link that in the description box and we are down to the last product of the day and this is my new Pat McGrath lipstick. Uh, this is the Matte Trance lipstick in the shade. Uh, it's a complicated name. I always forget. Executive Realness. It's the Matte Trance 053. This shade is just so, so beautiful. I love the packaging. I did like a small Instagram video uh, of, for this lipstick. If you're on Instagram, you must have seen me doing that. If you're following me there. This is how the packaging looks like. A really, really stunning packaging. I still, I am really, really scared to open this because, because it doesn't open very easily. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm always scared that I will drop it. But this is how the shade looks like. And this is like a pink. I would say like a muted pink, berry pink with a unique twist. I don't have any shade which is like this it's a berry it's a pink it's not too berry it's not too pink i don't know how i will describe this i'll just swatch it here uh this is how the shade looks like you can see it's a berry pink shade but it's i don't know how to describe it it's a pink but it's a berry also and these are like from the swatch itself you can see that these are a complete powder matte finish but even though this is a powder matte finish not drying at all super duper comfortable i have worn this lipstick for 10 hours more than that 10 11 hours very comfortable for the entire wear 
I have eaten, I have drank coffee, I have eaten pasta with this on my lips and the lipstick was intact. It doesn't transfer that much. Uh, it's just an amazing, amazing formula. I can finally see why these Pat McGrath lipsticks are so, so popular. Uh, this is super duper long wearing. I don't know what they have done. They are matte, but they are super comfortable. I am just in love with this one lipstick. I haven't seen lipstick like this. I mean, a uh, cream lipstick, which is looking like a powder matte lipstick, super pigmented in one swipe. You get opaque pigmentation. Doesn't transfer that much. Very long wearing, even if you eat, drink, very, very long wearing and so so comfortable i just love this super expensive as well but i think they're totally worth the money i will personally buy maybe one or two shades i'm eyeing but not right now i have already spent quite a lot on this maybe in the near future but i will definitely get a few more shades <sighs> finally we are done with this video we are finally we have come to the end of today's video i'm actually filming after quite a long time but it's always fun to film a favorites video i love these videos so much and i love watching these videos as well even though i may not go in and buy all the favorites but it's always nice to know what other people are liking so i really hope you like this video if you liked it then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really soon in my next video. Bye.